Hi, I'm Kim from High Prairie Library. Today we're going to be working on a watercolor painting together of a polar bear. And I chose the polar bear because February is International Polar Bear Month, which exists to bring awareness to issues polar bears are facing in the wild. But before we begin, I wanted to also recommend some books. The first is Polar Obsession by photographer Paul Nicklin. And this book is great if you have any interest in polar animals, and it has lots of great photos that might inspire other paintings for you. One of my favorite things in this book is the story of a leopard seal that brought him a penguin while he was diving in the Antarctic, and she kept trying to feed it to him. It's a really weird and wild story, so I recommend you check it out. Another book I recommend is Watercolor With Me in the Ocean. They also have another book called Watercolor With Me in the Forest. And I really like this series for beginning watercolor paintings because it has some great tutorials. For instance, you can look up how to paint a clownfish and it comes with a drawing you can trace and then a suggested list of colors along with step-by-step -step instructions. So let's begin. Alright, so now we have our painting traced and we're ready to paint. I recommend you get one flat brush, a round brush, and a set of pan paints. Praying is often used for beginners, um, but this is a very limited number of paints. You can get ones that have a larger selection, and I recommend that. When you buy your brushes, make sure that they aren't the cheap plastic ones that often come with watercolor paints. You want something that has synthetic fibers. Um, if you want to paint a lot, you can get real hair, but this will hold the water better and let your paint flow a bit better. You'll also need two cups of water. I have a cup here that I'm going to rinse my brushes in, and then when I need clean water, I have this cup here. And make sure you're in a well-lit area and we should be ready to go. When we paint watercolor, we work from our lightest colors to our darker colors. And this is because you can paint over the lighter colors easily, but once you lay down a darker color, it's pretty much stuck there. So we're going to start with our polar bear. And if you notice, they're not really white. They're kind of a yellowish color. Again, some backdrops though. They look pretty white, but we're going to use some yellows and browns to paint our polar bear. And I'm going to start by making the paper wet. We don't want it soaking wet, because then it will warp and bend. I'm not going to paint into the nose. We'll do that later. But we want the paper wet so that the paint will flow easily. And we can go over and rewet it later too. It might be a bit hard to see, but I'm staying in the outlines of the bear. And this is a fairly white look. It's a fairly lightweight paper, so it's kind of buckling a little bit. The heavier your, your paper is, the less it'll warp. You can always tape down the edges, too, if you want, with some masking tape. I recommend um, first laying the tape on something like your pants so it picks up some lint and it's not so sticky, and then you can put it down as a border, and it'll come up easily when you're done. Alright, so what color am I going to use here? Kind of this light yellow. Whoops, I just dipped it in my clean water. That's part of the problem with this. You mix up your clean water and your dirty water. And if I look, it's pretty light here, darker here, um, and it gets more toward blue over there, so we'll paint some blues there later. I'm going to pick up some more color darker fur in here, and we'll add fur detail later too. Just making my brush wet again. And then I'm going to lighten it up by just adding some water. After you're all done, if you find this is kind of warpy, um, once it's dry, you can flatten it out a little bit under something heavy. 
that'll help. I'm going a little bit darker where the bear's rough is. So right along here, where I put with a pencil. We're gonna color some of this blue later. It's where the bear is in shadow. Pick up some more yellow. Let's go right in here. My yellow. I should probably change my clean water and my dirty water cups around since I keep dipping into the clean water. But it's alright, because we're just doing this yellow right now. That's what we want all over the bear anyway. So because the paper is wet, it spreads pretty easily. I don't really like how dark I have it here, so I'm going to take a paper towel blot it a little bit. As long as it's wet it'll come up a bit. Once it dries it's a little harder to get back up. You can do it a little bit with some water but don't count on it. There's some darker color here where the bears like them. Don't want my brush to be super wet so I'm going to blot it a little. And I'm going to go over here more with some blues later, but I do want a little bit of that yellowish color underneath. Okay, and the inside of its fur here is pretty dark. Find the shape of the foot with some more dark yellows. If you brush lightly, you can get some of that fur texture already. And it's okay if we paint over the nails with the yellow too, because we, we'll be going over that later with a darker color. Um, let me see. A little bit yellow in the ear there. paper started to dry up there so it's not even as well as I'd like. I'm going to pick up some more yellow to get in here. And this is kind of a yellow ochre but none of these paints are really labeled so that's kind of just a guess on my part. If you really get into this, you can buy paints and tubes and then just spread it out on a palette. It allows for easier mixing too. A little bit of yellow here on the nose, the forehead. Kind of defining the shape of the eye. I want some darker color here, so I'm going to go back here, put in a little bit there. I don't like how wet that is, so I'm going to pick up the paint a little bit with my brush, after I have my brush on the paper. And just go where you feel comfortable. When you feel like it, you have the colors where you want them, then you can just stop right there. I see some yellow in here. So I'm gonna just do that. Whoops, that's a bit much. So 
I don't like how dark that is, so I'm gonna make my brush wet, get the paint off of it, and then I can pick some of that back up. I'm spreading it out. So since we want some of these colors to blend, I'm going to start with blues already. Um, let me look at my paints. I think I'm going to go with, you can see that, this lighter blue, maybe some of this darker blue here. It's always fun to have a piece of scrap paper to test on too. So I'll look at this blue on this paper and see how it goes for me. That blue. I kind of like that darker blue. It's hard to see because I have it so thinned out with the water. But I think it'll look nice for those shadows. So I'm gonna rinse my brush again. I'm gonna make this area wet because I want to put the shadow in here. And it's okay if you go a little bit into the eye because we'll go over that with a darker color later. I'm gonna lighten that up a bit. I don't want it too dark. Let's see how that looks. It's a faint bit of blue. shadow behind the ear there. Let's go in there. So I'm going to add some water to my brush and go back over it. I'm just using the tip of my brush to thin it out a bit. Okay, I want it to be a little bit darker here. I didn't really get all the color I wanted. I think this is a... over here along the far side of his neck. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that right now so far. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to come back and do some of the background stuff. Um, and we'll see, then we'll go back to adjusting the bear and adding some texture after that. 
Now that the background's dry, we're going to add some fur detail to the bear. And you don't have to do a whole lot, just a little bit to suggest fur. So for this, we're going to use a much drier brush to get that fine detail. And if you have a smaller brush, that's fine. Otherwise, you can use your round brush. And um, when you make it wet, you can flatten it out a bit. And that'll help you get some nice fur lines. I suggest pulling out another piece of paper and practicing first before you go on to add your fur, just so you can see how you like it. So I'm going to make my brush wet, make my paint wet here, and then when I actually paint, I want my brush to be dry and I'll be dipping into that. Otherwise, if it's too wet, you just get these thick lines, which I don't really want. So I've made my brush wet, I've dried it out of my towel, I've kind of flattened it out a bit. I'm stroking the edge into the paint, and you can see how I can do this like this. If that's too dark, you can add some more water to your paint. Dry your brush again. And you can get lighter lines there. So remember to work from light to dark. You can always go back and make things darker if you don't like them, but you can't really make things lighter very easily. Okay, so I'm going to add some lines, some fur here, um, some more texture down here, and I will upload this reference picture I have, or I'll put a link to it in the notes so you can download it yourself and use it if you want. Okay, so I'm going to put some fur right in here. into the leg a little bit of that fur so it looks like the fur is coming over the leg and that'll kind of help hide that pencil line too. And as you'll paint, you'll see it gets lighter and lighter, which is nice if you're wanting to move from a dark area into a lighter area, too. strokes here over the paw, kind of in between the toes. And then it's darker over here around this back paw. I'm going to put some darker paint in there.
I don't like how dark that is, so I'm making my brush wet. And I'm gonna lift some of that off. Make sure it's clean. Painting over with water. And then I'm just gonna dab my paper against it. to the rough there. It's a little darker than I want. Okay. And later on I'll go back in and we'll add some more bluish tint to the fur so it looks more like a shadow. using short strokes. I don't know if you can see that, but my brush has been fanned out a little bit by me pressing it flat, which has made a nice feathery look.
just going to add a few hairs by the face just to give a suggestion of fur there. And I think I'll go back in with some more bluish paint for that later. I did forget to do that little pause, so I'm going to put a little bit of my yellow paint there, thin it out a bit. Let that dry and then I'm gonna mix in just some blue with the with the yellow just to make it look a bit more shadowed. So we'll come back in just a second for that. Alright, if you look very closely at the reference photo you can see that the bear's eye is brown. So I'm gonna take my dark brown and paint it in here and then we'll go over it with a little bit of black to outline the skin. Um, I'm gonna leave a little white spot just for the glint in the eye. So it might look a little silly right now until we add the rest in. We'll add the black in there too. So I'll leave that there for now and then we'll do the black in a little bit. And then I'm going to take that brown and I'm going to mix it with my dark blue here to make an almost black color for the nose. Make sure your brush is nice and clean before you dip it into a new color. Mixing those together, let's see how that looks. I like that a lot. So I'm going to paint the outline of the nose here. here to suggest fur right below the lip. Okay, there's a little dark spot here. for the pupil in the middle of that too. Right 
finger on that little white spot I left. There we go. A little bit on the ear. And then I'm going to lighten it up by adding some more water for the claws. If you want to spend more time and do more detail with this, that's fine too. can't forget the little toe beans. So the bear's pretty much done. If you want to go back, wait for it to dry, take a look at it a bit later, you can add more detail. I'll probably add a little bit more brown here to give the toes more definition later. Um, you can add a little bit of detail here and there, but for the most part you're done. Congratulations, you've made a polar bear. Thanks for painting with me today. I hope you'll share your creation with us on Instagram at ppldteens.